just happened again and listen to this this time listen to this what the f is that I'm fed up with this car I don't even know what that sound is like the DPF light is on and then this sound when I accelerate it sounds like the bottom end bearing but because the DPF light is on it could be something to do with the DPF okay guess what the DPF light just went off but the sound is still there it's definitely the bottom end, bottom end bearing so that's me engine is gone engine is gone What's happening? So you're wondering where the Accord is. Well, this is where it is. This is what's happening. Since I got this Accord, there has been nothing but issues for me. Um, I'm not saying all Accords are like this. I'm just saying that this Accord, my Accord, has been like this. Um, I, I can't even tell you where the first thing was that went wrong with it. But maybe it's just the bad luck of 2020 and then it's rolling into 2021 for me now. But um, it started, I think it started with... I couldn't get one of the brake discs off at the back. Um, I think that was it. I've spent more money on it than I have enjoyed it, if you know what I mean. So I think it's only it's only a matter of time before something else goes. I don't know if I'm gonna be hanging onto the car at all after this, it's just driving me crazy. Like I have a, a replica Mugen kit to go onto the car and I have that there since last summer sometime. I couldn't even tell you when I bought that. I have it there so long and I haven't even thought about putting her on yet because I'm trying to still fix the issues with the car. And I don't want to put that on until I get suspension anyway, but I don't even know if I'm going to get suspension now. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do. But all I'm doing is spending money on all these other little things. Now there's a caliper issue as well. It's just it's endless. There's just constantly money 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 into this car. I need to stop spending money on it and start spending money on it in a different way. Anyway, I need to stop servicing it. No, hold on. I don't want to stop that. I need to stop fixing it and actually put things on to it that I want onto it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a diesel mechanic and I'm not a diesel fan. Don't really like diesels that much. I didn't know anything about them until I got this. And now that I have this, I don't want to ever buy another diesel again. I'm just not interested in diesels. I'm sorry. Anyway, this is what's wrong. My car is peeing itself. Look, it peed its pants. So this is an ID tech, and these are one of the strongest diesel engines ever made that I know of. I'm not a diesel engineer or diesel expert or nothing like that. I just, I've heard these things that this engine shouldn't have went. Uh, it sounds like a bottom end, but it's not. It's a fueling issue. There's a, if there's a lot of white smoke and there's little dribbles of pee on the ground or diesel, and your engine is knocking after around, well, some of them I've noticed that it, they're knocking a little bit lower, but my one is around about 2,000 revs. It's where it's that knocking sound, and I swear I panicked like crazy, thinking that this was a bottom end bearing, and I was like, that's a new engine. So this is why it's taken so long to get this video out, because I didn't know what it was. I went to so many mechanic shops to ask them to to fix me engine or have a look at it or replace it nobody would touch it nobody they they just want to be general mechanics they'll fix brakes and they'll fix suspension and so on but when it comes to a problem with the engine like that they don't want to do it i eventually found this this new mechanic and it turns out that he's a honda mechanic all of his life from the 80s till now he's just dealt with hondas he's worked in so many different honda places he's worked in swindon he's worked all over ireland 
so he knows his Hondas. And every other garage I went to, they all said bottom end. Oh, okay, here's the AA truck now. So I uh, have to go. The AA truck now is gonna take it away. Uh, it's gonna bring it to his garage and he's gonna give it back to me and then you'll see the rest of the video. So that's why the car hasn't been on the channel. Okay, bye-bye. Later. So it's back. A lot of you have been wondering where the Accord is. Well, here it is. It's filthy dirty. There's dirt and crap. Look, look, cobwebs and stuff. Yeah, it's really dirty. There's like moldy stuff growing on it. Ugh, 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 ugh. Get out. Ugh, ugh. There are cobwebs everywhere. The wheels are dirty. It's obviously been outside of the garage as well. Even my new reg plates are broken. Somebody reversed into me, a friend of mine reversed into me, but look, the numbers still didn't fall off, look at them, they're literally, like I can pull out of that and nothing, look, it's not broken really, it is, it's cracked and all that, I didn't have a fail at the test, but they're still stuck on. Okay, so I had to just get into the car because there was just too much traffic, too much wind noise, so what happened was, back in January this all started, um, so back in January, the car basically broke down. One week later, almost to the day, I walked in and found my uncle who I care for, well, I used to care for, I found him on the ground and basically he died after that day. Um, it was a horrible, traumatic time, but it is what it is, that's what happens. Um, and also I had to deal with this. So I had to do, with, deal with a lot of things at that time. So I brought the car to a couple of mechanics just to see what they thought it was. Because first of all, I thought it was a Botman bearing straight away. Um, so when I left it to a couple of other mechanics, they all thought it was a Botman bearing as well. So I took a video of it, sent the video to a few other mechanics that I know. And they all said Botman bearing as well. So everybody was just saying bottom end bearing. So I decided I'll just go looking for a new engine because to fix a bottom end bearing is ridiculous. It's crazy expensive, especially on a diesel that's not worth the money. So I decided I'm just gonna buy a new engine. So I went looking for a new engine and I couldn't find one. I went to lots of different engine suppliers and stuff like that and scrapyards and I couldn't find one. So I decided then I'd, um, I'd probably just get rid of the car. I'd probably scrap the car. Just, you know, just sell all the parts, just part it out. And somebody said to me, did you try um, Tommy, the Honda man? And I said, who's Tommy, the Honda man? So they gave me his address. I went up to him. I showed him the video and he said, I'll drop out to you during the week. I think I know what that is. So he dropped out to me. He walked into the garden. I started the car and he said, that's a fueling issue. That's not a bottom end. He's a real old school mechanic. So he, he has a certain way of doing things. So I had to leave the car with him because he was just so busy. It's now the end of August and he just phoned me and said your car is ready I just collected it and this is what it looks like it's been sitting out out his back shed or something like that for months injectors in these Honda Accords these 2.2 DTEX you have to replace them you can't just fix them sometimes you can fix injectors you had to take all the injectors out send them all off get them all tested because he doesn't have the testing facilities the four of them came back and two of them two two of them two two of them were broken or not working right not injecting yeah we'll say injecting and the dpf was full of fuel so basically he had to take out the dpf and clean it again and it didn't work because there was so much fuel in it it was after just ruining it so i could either replace the dpf which is mental money or i could take it out so yes i got the dpf taken out now there's a different ways of doing it. In these Honda Accords, it's much easier to take the DPF off and drill out the honeycomb thing. So that's what I've done. I just got him to take out the, the honeycomb. So now it doesn't have a DPF. The injectors on their own were like 300 euro each. So that was 600 euro before you take into consideration the 
the cost of testing the four injectors in the first place and then to remove the DPF and blah 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 so it cost me a lot of money so I said to him why would the injectors have went in the first place and he said one reason because they're old but second reason did that happen with the DPF and I said yes two DPFs within three days of each other and he said that's what happened when a DPF goes it puts an awful lot of pressure on the cylinder so the injectors suffer because of this so basically it was the DPF that caused the injectors to go at the end of the day I have my car back I did want to tell you where it was but also I didn't want to tell you where it was because I wanted to keep you in suspense <laughs> I wanted to keep you wanting to come back for to see where the Accord is so if you're watching it now and you haven't watched in months well it's because the Accord was I just told you anyway have other cars look at the look at the channel for the other cars I have to say I did miss the car I, I truly did miss it I didn't miss the problems but I missed driving it I missed the, the comfort and I just missed it all so if you want to help out the channel I have a PayPal link below there if you want to you could just throw something in there and that'll help me out to sort of build this car channel and um, it costs money it costs a lot of money to, to do jobs on cars it's it's extremely expensive this is the most expensive channel to own is a car channel every other every other channel they're just talking to the camera okay this video I'm just talking to the camera but every other channel they just talk to the camera they don't have to spend money on parts for cars or so on just to uh, just to show you what's going on or just to show you how to do something but if all you can do is just give us a thumbs up and a like and a comment and maybe share it as well and definitely subscribe um, that'll that'll do me I'm totally happy I can't believe the amount of subscribers I'm getting on this channel it's 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 crazy so thank you very much to everybody for all your support all your comments all your likes and all the subscribers uh, thank you very much just keep doing what you're doing and I'll keep doing what I'm doing or something I don't know I don't know where that's meant to be going but anyway um yeah thanks bye this ain't over.